comes out on the second floor there's this beautiful archway in front of the window which is almost like it's, it's kind of look has an exotic look to it like something out of south asia perhaps and there were design influences that the Victorians picked up all th I mean, throughout the British Empire. Uh, and that's probably one example of one. If you look at the triangular area at the top, uh, up at the gable at the top of the building, there's some ornamentation there. And that's not carved wood, it's cast plaster. They figured out how to put plaster on the outside of the houses by then, and they were able to make these extremely elaborate casts of plaster. And, and various shapes I mean as, as you can see there but as, as long as it's kept painted it'll, it will stay there between the first and second floor right below that is another example of this cast plaster ornamentation and if you look in the center of that you'll see that there's a face in there it's kind of difficult to see but sometimes there were faces represented in the de decorative features on, on, on these houses I don't know for if it was her, if it was a particular symbolic reasons or not, if it was purely aesthetic. But it, it, it adds something very interesting to the house. As you can see, this house has, well, it has one big tower in the corner, the, in the, in the right hand side. The uh, conical roof on the top of the tower is called the Witch's House. And there's a little on top of the